What's up, YouTube? This is 2Raw4TV, all right? So before I get into this video, uh, I want to give a big shout out to the brother Town Biz for uh, his review of this movie, You People, on his channel. He did a review earlier. I thought it was great. Please check out uh, his channel. Please subscribe to his channel, Town Biz Sports and Media Entertainment. Now, this movie, You People, debuted yesterday on Netflix, and uh, long anticipated by many uh, people. Uh, this movie stars um, Lauren London and Jonah Hill, a much slimmed down Jonah Hill. It also stars Eddie Murphy, uh, Nia Long, with her fine ass, as well as Lauren London. Uh, it stars Julie Louise Dreyfus who is definitely a gilf. Rhea Perlman, who some of you may remember, some of you older uh, uh, people subscribe to my channel may remember as as uh, Carla on Cheers. Uh, who am I forgetting? Dion Cole is in this movie, uh, as well as Mike Epps. And David Duchovny of The X-Files uh, is uh, in this movie as well. Now, Basically, you know, this movie is sort of a updated, comedic uh, retelling of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, which came out, I believe, in 1967, a movie that starred the late, great Sidney Poitier, and I believe it was the last movie that Spencer Tracy did. Uh, as a matter of fact, I believe Spencer Tracy passed away just 17 days after that movie wrapped. And, and, um, <clears throat> and also in that movie was Katherine Hepburn. Now, back in the mid-2000s, there was a comedic rehash of that, to of that uh, initial movie that starred Bernie Mac and Ashton Kutcher. Uh, but this movie... Um... I'll I put it like this. Is it a good movie? It, it, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I, I the, the type of humor that I found in this movie was what I expected, which seems sort of off script. It uh, sounds like a lot of the the lines, a lot of what was said in this movie was, at least to me, at least it seemed like a lot of it was ad libbed, especially when it came to jo when it comes to Jonah Hill, uh, the partner that he had on the podcast. She's a writer on SNL. Eddie Murphy, uh, Dion Cole, Mike Epps. Some of the lines in the movie sounded off script. Some of the comedic lines, uh, but um. <sighs> Look, basically the movie is about Jonah Hill, who is Jewish, uh, falling in love with Lauren London, who is black. As a matter of fact, her family is Muslim. Eddie Murphy is her father, Nia Long is her mother, and David Duchovny and Julie Louise Dreyfus are Jonah Hill's parents, and they're Jewish. Uh, of course... When you have an interracial relationship like that, there's going to be some tension. There's going to be some cultural clashes. And that's what the movie focuses on. But I have to be honest. Um, I don't think we're in the right era for those types of comedies anymore. Not At, at least not in a sense where you get real realistic reactions and comments and, and, and things of that nature. What I'm saying is we live in too much of a PC world for this movie to really be true, true, you know. And I could even argue that while I like this movie, well, I don't want to tell the movie too much, but the ending, I think, would have been better 
had it been more realistic and things didn't quite work out the way that they did. I think it would have been more telling. It would have been more of a cautionary tale about going down this road and what the risks are and how hard it is. You know what I'm saying? That we have to do better when it comes to these types of situations. But for them to have the fairy tale, I guess I'm kind of telling the movie now, but for them to have the fairy tale ending where everyone learns the the faux pas, their ways, ah, I, I mean, it was sort of like a Hollywood force ending. You know, that's just my opinion. Uh, the best aspect of the movie, though, to me, was seeing the relationship between Jonah Hill, uh, his character, I forget the character's name, and Lauren London. When you saw them interact, you you know, at least for me, after a while, I didn't see race. I just saw two people who were in love with each other. And it was everyone else around them that was objectifying the relationship, objectifying everything that they were doing and saying. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of how I saw it. You know what I'm saying? But I have to be honest, like I said, you know, I think a movie like this could have been better made 20, 25 years ago when we weren't so uptight and you might have heard someone hurl the N-word. You might have heard someone say something that, you know, would have really been anti-S. You know what I'm saying? Um, because that would have been more realistic. You know, sometimes you need to be offensive to make a point. And I thought they were dialing it back too much out of sensibilities. And, and I don't know, man. I, like I said, I, I grew up in the era of watching All in the Family, the Jeffersons, uh, old black and white uh, cop buddy movies like 48 Hours. So I've heard these terms since I was a kid. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't have that sensitive, you know, emotional reaction to hearing these words like some people do when it's put in a certain context, like a movie. Now, if you're saying that to me in my fucking face in real life, then that's something different. But it's not going to bother me if it's in the right context hearing these words in the movie, if I know what's going on. But anyway, uh, I think You People is an okay movie as far as performances are concerned. I think Eddie Murphy was great, um, tremendous as the father. He, he's hilarious. Um, I thought Mike Epps was great too in the in the small role that he that he was in. I'm gonna tell you, Mike Epps. I think he's a good comedian, but Mike Epps is one of the best. Like as far as being in movies, the dude is phenomenal. Deion Cole was great. I think this movie had an excellent cast. Um, were there any weak spots in the movie as far as acting? Uh, I mean, I don't know. For some reason, I didn't particularly care for uh, Jonah Hill's podcast partner. I don't know why. I just didn't particularly care for her, uh, her character. I thought Julie Louise Dreyfus. Uh, I mean, she was okay in the movie, Julie Louise Dreyfus. But the strongest, I, I thought it was a little bit more emphasis on her, Julie Louise Dreyfus, than it was for Nia Long's character. And I don't quite understand why that's the case. But uh, anyway, as far as a ranking for the movie, I mean, uh, I, I'm pretty much on board with my brother Town, man. Like, uh, about a six, six and a half. That's about right. About a six, six and a half. And um, I would definitely watch it. It's not a terrible movie. It's just. It's just not a classic, you know. But anyway, that's all I got to say about it, man. Tell me what you guys think.